Hey there folks, welcome back. Ricky Tran here with Cutlery and More. Today we are going to take a look at one of Japan's best selling Japanese knives, Shun. Shun is one of the most respected and well recognized brands in Japanese knife making. So what we have here today is Shun's entire lineup of chef knives. So the first knife we are going to look at is their Kanzo. The Kanzo is one of their newer knives, a very beautiful knife. So first off, the Kanzo is made of a steel called AUS-10A. It's a refined, high-carbon vanadium stainless steel, a very, very nice steel. It has a very good edge-holding ability, and it's heat-treated to a 60 on the rock wall scale. Now, if you look at the steel of this knife, it's very rustic and very raw-looking. Shun calls it the heritage finish. Now, what's great about this finish is that it does a really good job of hiding scratches and markings on this blade. As this blade ages, it will improve in its aesthetic quality and the rustic quality that you really love for this knife. Now coming down to the handle, we're using a wood called Tagaya-san. It's a very interesting wood, a very dense wood that was actually used back in the old samurai ironwood handle days. Back in the samurai days, having a strong handle was actually very vital to the life of the sword, being that the sword needs to be able to cut down an enemy, the handle actually needed to withstand those forces that were exerted onto the blade. So the Takayasan wood has its history rooted in Japanese samurai sword making. Though it is very dense, the wood is not very heavy, so it gives this knife a very good balance when it comes to actually usage on the cutting board. Very, very fantastic. Uh, overall, a very good design. It's a very exciting knife. It offers great balance, great quality, great edge retention, as well as coming in at a very affordable price. So when Shun designed this knife, as well as many of their other knives, they use a philosophy called Zen. They want to make sure that the knife includes all of the essentials. So everything that did not make or added to the overall performance and quality of the knife was excluded. So that's why you see many of Shun's have a very minimalistic design quality to them. Only the most essential parts go onto their knives. The next knife we are going to look at is the Shun Classic. The popularity of Shun was all thanks to this knife right here. The Classic uses VG Max as its core seal. He treated it to a 60 to a 61 on the Rockwell scale, and it has 34 layers of stainless Damascus cladding on each side of the knife. Coming down to its handle, we have a D-shaped pack of wood with a stainless steel end cap. The ebony pack of wood has a beautiful satin finish to it. Now the satin finish is great. It allows your hand to have a really good grip on the knife while keeping water and moisture at bay. The spine, the choil, and the balsa are all nicely polished. There are no sharp edges on this knife anywhere outside of the actual cutting edge itself. Next we have the Shun Pro. The Shun Pro is a magnificent line of knives. Shun uses the VG10 heat treated to a 61 on the Rockwell scale for the Shun Pro. Now if we look at the profile of this knife, we can see this beautiful liquid graffiti metal itching that is actually exclusive to this line of knives. Every line of knife in the Pro series has its own unique graffiti etching, which gives each knife a very custom feel to it. Now coming down to the handle, you have the same beautiful ebony pack of wood in a D-shaped handle with also a stainless steel end cap. The finish of the handles on the Pro Series are the same as the Classic Series, so your hands have a very good grip on the knife while allowing the handle to have protection from moisture. Next, we have the Shun Dual Core. This knife here is one of the most interesting knives you will ever see. Now, what makes this knife so different and unique is that it has two steels combined and laminated into one to make the entire length of this blade. The result of taking VG10 and VG2 and laminating them into 71 micro layers, you get this beautiful herringbone finish with a heat treatment of 60 to 61 on the Rockwell scale. It is a very unique blade design, something that you can only see from the expert bladesmiths from Shun. In addition to the herringbone design, you also have a mirror finish on the left and right side of the knife. Coming down to the handle, we now have an octagonal shaped design to it. It's actually a tapering handle. That tapering makes this handle very comfortable and also keeps your hands from slipping back if you were cutting and handling greasy foods. Now it's important to note that not all of the sides on the octagonal handle are actually equal, meaning that the two sides that are aligned to the left and right side of the knife are actually taller than the rest of the sides of the handle. It allows greater comfort for short and long-term use. You may be noticing the overall profile of this knife is very different than some of the other knives we have here. This is called a Kuritsuke design. Now Kuritsuke's are great because they offer great performance in dicing, thin slices, julienne, chopping, and slicing meats. Next, we have the Shun Premier. Now the Shun Premier closely resembles the Shun Classic in that it uses the same great profile and overall blade design. It has the same VG Max core steel heat treated to a 61 on the Rockwell scale. It also has 34 layers of stainless steel Damascus cladding on both sides of the knife. However, instead of that layered look where you see parallel lines running from heel to tip, you will sometimes hear this pattern being referred to as a rose Damascus finish. 
It's very beautiful. It adds a very interesting depth to the overall profile of this knife. In addition to that beautiful Damascus pattern, you're also seeing a hammered or tsuchime hammered finish on the top of this knife. The hammered finish adds a very distinctive look to the overall profile of the knife. Now coming down to the handle, we now have a walnut packwood handle. It's a little bit different than what we have seen so far. If we look very closely here from the top of the knife, we will see the handle has an hourglass shaped design. From the side, you will see that it has a very ovalized handle. There is also an additional sculptedness at the very bottom of the handle. It gives this handle a very custom feel to it. So while the handles of the knives that we have just looked at are all very comfortable, the handle on the Premier takes comfort to a different level. If we look at the spine of this knife, we will see that it is very thin at the thickest part of the spine. It's about 2 millimeters thick. That gives this knife the ability to cut through any ingredient very easily. The fit and finish of shooting knives are absolutely fantastic. You will find that there are no steps between your bolster and the handle, as well as the end cap here. Everything flows seamlessly from one part to the other. At the bottom of the handle, there is a brass and black ring that goes around the entire circumference of the handle. It's these small details that Shun adds to their knives that really separates them from other knife manufacturers. The next knife we have here is the Shun Blue Steel Karitsuke. The knives in the Shun Blue Steel series are the only knives that Shun offers with a carbon core steel. As its name suggests, this knife uses a blue steel from Japan. Knives made with blue steel are able to become razor sharp and they hold a very good edge. The other great property of Japanese blue steel is that it's relatively a slow reacting steel relative to other carbon steels or Japanese white steels. Now to protect that Japanese blue carbon steel in what is referred to as a sandmai construction or three layer construction where the Japanese blue core steel is sandwiched in between the two layers of stainless steel with a high polish finish. You have the same great beautiful octagonal handle that is found on the dual core series. However, instead of using an ebony pack of wood, it's now using a gray pack of wood. You have the same great tapering from the bottom of the handle to the top of the handle. You have a semi-gloss finish for the handle, which gives you great moisture protection, as well as offering your hand a great grip on the knife. The last knife we're looking at is the Shun Hero. The Shun Hero is taking the best of everything Shun has to offer and putting it into a single package. The Shun Hero is currently the only Shun that uses an SG2 core steel or Super Gold 2 core steel. It's heat treated to a 64 on the Rockwell scale. Now for those who are not familiar with heat treatments, a 64 is incredibly hard. Having a knife with a core steel of SG2 will allow it to achieve a razor sharp edge. But having that SG2 heat treated to a 64 on the Rockwell scale will allow this knife to maintain that edge over a very long time. All of that wonderful 64 Rockwell rating is layered or protected by 32 layers of nickel and stainless steel Damascus cladding finished off with a hammered or tsuchime finish. The bolster and the end cap are both made of nickel with a high polished finish similar to the rest of the knife here. The handle itself is a charcoal pack of wood with crimson striations. That gives this handle a very distinctive two-tone look which you will not find on any other knife. You also have a beautiful brass and red ring on the top of the handle and a red ring at the bottom of the handle. They've added a single mosaic rivet which is the symbol of the samurai family crest. What they are saying with the inclusion of this symbol is that they believe that they have designed a knife that is worthy to carry the honor of the samurai symbol. Now that is really saying something. All right, folks, well, thank you so much for being with us today. Links to the product pages for each of these knives will be in the video's description. We will also take in product video requests. If there are any products that you see on our website that you want to see featured here on our YouTube channel, please let us know what they are in the comments. We will do our best to get those videos up for you as quick as possible. And again, thank you for being with us today. We'll catch you in the next video.